Good morning. It's November 18th. Our reading today from Solid Stepping Stones is called Father First Day. It comes from 1 John chapter 2, verses 15 through 17. Don't be loving the world or the things in the world. If someone loves the world, the love for the Father is not in him, because everything that is in the world, the desire of the flesh and the desire of the eyes and the pride of life, are not from the Father, but are from the world. And the world is passing away and its desire. But the one who is doing the will of the Father remains into the age. The word here for world literally means adornment. This is appropriate here because in terms of eternity, all that this world amounts to is a decoration. There is nothing we can see that will not melt with fervent heat when this age is destroyed to make room for the next one. But this decoration is very enticing, and it is easy for us to get so involved in what our flesh desires and what our eyes desire, and to be proud of what we have accomplished in this life, that we lose track of eternity. Our first priority is to love God, the Father, with all our heart, soul, thoughts, and strength, and to seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness. Then all these things that have to do with this life shall be added to us. They are just gravy to those who seek the Father first. But to those who seek the things first, they are idols. Today is Father First Day. Take a good look at your priorities. Do you obey your body before you consider what the Father wants? Do you seek what your eyes desire before you consider what the Father wants? Are you proud of your accomplishments or that you are a child of the Father? Put Him first and everything else will come into order. Let's pray. Father, You are the only thing that really matters. I get so caught up in the things of this life that I don't consider You as much as I should. Help me keep you in mind today. If you agree with that prayer, say amen. Your readings today are from Ezekiel chapters 42 and 43 and Hebrews chapter 2. God bless you, and I'll see you tomorrow.